Hey everyone, I am Islam Ariful, thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on chords and effect verbs. So this is an academic writing lesson. In this lesson you will learn some advanced vocabulary, specifically verbs that you can use in, in your high school or college or university essay. Or if you were an English student who is taking the IELTS or the TOEFL, you can use these verbs to really level up your writing in your writing task on those tests. Okay. Now, if you are a writer of another sort, if you are an essayist, a fiction writer, a non-fiction writer, or you want to be a writer in the future, it never hurts to have more vocabulary, to have more power verbs in your arsenal. So. What we are going to do is improve your vocabulary for your writings and really make your writing them stronger. So I'm gonna to put this down and let's start looking at some verbs. Specifically, we are going to look at some effect bar first. So when you think of effect, you think of the result of something, right? So we have the verbs like C A U S A that is called cause, right? Produce P R O D U C E produce and we have verb phrases like L E A D means lead, lead to result in we have create bring about give rise to and be responsible for so these are all formal verbs and this will definitely formalize you writing specifically so for example cause very direct right so cause the 2008 financial crisis caused several problems for multinational banks so this crisis caused these things to happen all right let's continue with to deuce okay so to deuce create cause that means the medication did not produce the desired effect the medication did not produce the desired effect so the medication was supposed to numb the pain but it didn't do this it didn't produce the desired effect so again to produce think of it in the same family of word as cause produce and create which we will see a little bit later on okay and next we have lead to so if something leads to something else this means that it cause the next step to happen so the next step is the effect so for example lead to uh, several international incidents led to world war ii several international incidents led to world war ii so we are talking about international events international incidents that lead to give the cause for world war ii so if something leads to something else you know you do these things which cause this thing so the effect is here one thing leads to or another thing right the next result in very straightforward i think so result in the earthquake resulted in thousands of deaths the earthquake resulted in thousands of deaths the effect of the earthquake the result of the earthquake right uh, so the earthquake resulted in thousands of death later on we'll look at the result of so that will be for cause but for the effect you can say result in what was the result it resulted in blank in something like that okay the create the next create i think everyone is familiar with the create if you were not here we go the increasing rate of crime is creating numerous issues numerous problems the increasing rate of crime is creating numerous issues numerous problems so 
it's making problems creating problem causing problems so the effect is that there are numerous problems now because of this next bring about so if something brings about something else it's kind of brings it right into effect so the new regime or regime the new political party the new political regime brought about stricter laws so imagine there was an election and there is a new political regime and with them they are bringing some new laws so they brought about new laws they caused new laws to happen the effect of the political regime are the stricter laws okay so the example the new regime or the new political party the new political regime brought about stricter laws the next give rise to if something gives rise to uh, something else it means that the initial cause create the condition necessary for the effect to happen okay got that okay let's look at the example so the election result gave rise to public protest the election result gave rise to public protest so we have the election result and now the condition is instability in the public because maybe the public is not happy with the result of the election so it creates the necessary condition for the public protest so the election gave rise to allowed the political protest to happen the public protest to happen okay and next be responsible for i think this one is self-explanatory so here we go no one knows who was responsible for the vandalism no one knows who was responsible for the vandalism uh, vandalism you know the actions involving deliberate or destruction or damage to public or private property so the example no one knows who was responsible for the vandalism so no one knows who did the vandalism the basically uh, maybe around the bank or some kind of public places okay so who was responsible for we don't know you can talk about you know this effect all of these are effect both and this effect verbs in a variety of context so here yeah, you have some stuff like world war ii the economic crisis rising rates of crime vandalism public protest elections so these are the probably the types of topics you will see if you were writing a high school essay or a college essay or university essay or writings or if you were university students who are taking the IELTS exam or TOEFL exam even if you are not some who are in USA you are probably going to talk about something that caused something else or you are going to talk about the effect of one actions and what the reaction of that was so these verbs will help you to talk about that reactions okay so i recommend you please practice read the example and read the example more and more and write new script on the books and memorize all of these effect bar and increase or level up your writings in your academic test or something like that thanks for hearing and thanks for clicking don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the new notifications